In this brief tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take your image, which has a background that it, it is distracting to your project or game or whatever you're working on, and transform that into a graphic that has a transparent background and just looks sharper and fits the project better. So the first thing you're going to do is go into your Pixlr project. You're going to open an image. The image is probably in your downloads or wherever you've placed your images that you downloaded at the beginning of the project. And here we're going to download the image Coffee. That's a JPEG and has this white background. The first thing we're going to do, though, is unlock these layers. There is a layer um, a tool that is very useful, especially when putting images on top of each other and doing that classic Photoshopping. But first, we're going to unlock the image by clicking on it. And you'll notice that when you click on it, you can unlock it. And that gives us the ability to add a transparent layer, which is what we're going to do next. I can take this wand tool and I click on the wand and then I click on the area and it automatically selects this area. It's a really smart tool most of the time, but sometimes we have to adjust its tolerances as we'll see in just a bit. But I'm going to now hit my delete key and that part now becomes transparent. Transparent is often represented uh, in computer science with this checkered uh, gray background. Now, if I were to do the same thing with the rest of the image, which is what I want to do, unfortunately, it would remove too much of the image. That's not what I want to do. So I'm going to undo that. And what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to adjust the tolerance so that it's a little less um, picky and gets me more of what I want. I'm going to adjust it to 20, for example, and then I'm going to redo it. I'm going to click the wand select. I'm going to click on the area and look, it's getting rid of just the area I want to get rid of without getting rid of this, this other part, which I want to keep or preserve as part of the image. So I'm now going to go up to save and I'm going to save my image. It's going to detect that it's not a JPG anymore. It's a PNG. So that's exactly what I want. I'm going to keep the name the same. The extension is different. I'm going to download it and now I have a new coffee image that I can place into my project that has a transparent layer with that white background removed. 